Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on converting odds to probability and probability to odds using Excel. As always, if you find this video to be helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here this Excel worksheet and I'll be demonstrating in it how to convert odds or odds ratio to probability and how to convert probability to odds. And when we use the term odds or odds ratio, we're talking about something like four to one or five to four, a, a term to express a probability. They, they express the same idea, odds ratio and probability, but one that involves that type of ratio. So you'd have eight to 10 odds. You would know that you have a better chance of a failure than a success if the eight represented success and the 10 represented failure. You could also reduce that to four to five. That's the same odds ratio. A four to five odds ratio is the same as an eight to 10. Probability is more common in social sciences. Usually we, we think of, in terms of counseling treatments or something like that, we think of the probability of success. So if we have a really effective counseling treatment, it might have an 80% chance of being successful, 80% chance of being effective. And that would be the same if we move that to an odds ratio, that would be four to one odds. 80% would be four to one odds. Because you have four parts success for every one part failure. That's how you could think of odds ratio. So in terms of these equations, let's convert odds to probability and again, probability to odds. So here with odds to probability, looking at the calculation, it's the odds ratio divided by one plus the odds ratio. And when I say odds ratio, again, I'm talking about something like five to one, six to one, and you would make the computation. So if it was a uh, six to five odds ratio, it would be six divided by five. That would be the odds that you'd put in here into this equation. So let's start with an odds ratio that is a number to one. So we'll use the example I used before of four to one. So here I'm just going to put in four, four to one. And I'll show you how it worked with a different type of fraction in a moment. And then let's calculate the numerator and the denominator. Well, we know here for the numerator, it's going to be equal to this value four. I'll put that in. And one plus odds, this will be equal sign, one plus the odds here, four. So this is fairly straightforward. We get this fraction, four divided by five. Now, so we know, of course, that four divided by five is 80%. I'll calculate that here. Equal sign, four divided by five. Cell G5 divided by cell G6. And that gives us the probability that we would expect, of course, here, 80%. So let's run this through the other way to demonstrate converting probability over to an odds ratio. So probability here, I'll just type in 80%. We want to convert this over to an odds ratio. And again, I'm going to use the equation. Now, in this case, this is probability divided by one minus probability. Note for the conversion over to odds, it's odds divided by one plus odds. So you want to remember where the plus sign is and where the minus sign is in these equations. So the probability, so the equal sign, 80%. And then one minus the probability would be equal sign, one minus 80%. That's 20%. So, this, so we have 80% divided by 20%, and this is our odds ratio. So I'll move, move over here to odds ratio, and this will be equal sign the 80% divided by the 20%. And this gives us an odds ratio of four. And this is four to one. That's the odds ratio here. So now let's look at an odds ratio that doesn't involve something to one. So in this example I used here, it's four to one. What if we have an odds ratio like 12 to 11? So looking at success and failure, you have 12 parts success for every 11 parts failure. Or you could look at that in terms of adding those together. 
that would be you would be successful 12 times out of 23 and unsuccessful 11 times out of 23. So you can use the same calculation to convert an odds ratio of 12 to 11 to a probability. We would just make the calculation here in cell E6. We would take 12 and divide it by 11. So this will be equal sign 12 divided by 11. And that's 1.09. So that's 1.09 to 1. So, so what we're really doing here is we're reducing that odds ratio so that it's some value to 1. In this case, roughly 1.1 to 1. So if we looked at the equation here, you see it gives us a probability of 52.17%. So that's all we need to do when we have a fraction like that. We convert it into something to 1 just by calculating the fraction, just by taking the numerator and dividing it by the denominator and then plugging into this equation that will give us the probability. I hope you found this video on converting odds to probability and probability to odds to be helpful. Thanks for watching.